Chess. The game of strategy and tactics has been around since the 6th century, and there is belief that the world's oldest war game originated from North India. Well, wherever it came from, people in San Francisco have found a way to make it their own, and we try to find out how it became part of the city's local color. Nobody seems to know huh? kung anong historia nito. Alam niyo ba kung paano nag-start kay ke kung kailan? Uh, actually, ang spot dito nagsimula doon sa malit lang na uh, upuan doon. Uh -huh. Yung the other, across the street. It start with uh, one person and uh, four sets of uh, four sets of chess boards. I think it's one of those, you know, public spaces where people have gathered for decades and uh, at some point it must have seemed like a great place for folks to get together and, and have some competitive chess games uh, and it's become a staple of the area. And so have the Panoys. You will find Filipinos congregated here engrossed in their game on any given day. That's because chess is not only good for their mind, it's also good for their soul. Do you win a lot? Yeah. Are you the current champion? Uh, Maybe. This man right here is the, uh, uh, we call it the godfather of the, uh, the, the chess here. He started. The commissioner. The commissioner. The cable car began its Powell Street service in 1888, and the cable car turnaround was rebuilt in 1983. But no one seems to know for sure when the chess boards were laid on Market Street. Players here say that 74-year-old Virgilio Romero is the person who started the city's quirky tourist spot. When did you start this hall and where? Right the other side. Mm -hmm. When? Kailan hall? Sometimes, uh, 1985. What was your reason for starting starting this? Well, my reason is, uh, you know, nothing to do at home. And of course, uh, you need exercise like me. I'm an old man. What so. was it like then? Were there a lot of people who were playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mung Virgilio eventually put his king to rest and gave up his chess boards. World War II Filipino veteran Flor Bagasala then took over. The 77-year-old wanted to earn money for his family in the Philippines. May sipang ko na marunong naman akong mag-cheese. Eh, may binila ako ng isang cheese board. Yun na nga na nagsapula ko noon sa cheese. Kumikita ako minsan mga 4 dollars, 5 dollars, isang table. Okay naman yun. And these people that come here, mostly what What are they? Filipino ba? Taga Bay Area? Ano ang istorya nila? Lahat ng alus eh, lahat sa mundong ito, nandito. What's the attraction here? How, why do you keep coming back? What's that? Well, uh, diversion. Uh, good time, kill the time. All day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many hours do you play? Eight, ten hours. Eight, ten hours in one sitting. So what's next for you? Are you going to play another game? Uh, I guess if somebody wants to play with me. Well, nobody wants to play with you again, huh? <laughs> well, how come nobody wants to play with you now? Maybe they know I'm, I'm the champ. <laughs> Whether to have fun, to hang out, or to be a champ, whatever the reasons are, the chess tables on Market Street welcomes people from all walks of life. And Pinoy's have taken an active part in this pastime. And even if no one can definitely say when and who started this gig, one thing is for sure. Is this a good use of public space, in your opinion? Absolutely. People should be able to enjoy their city, and that's a great place to play chess. <laughs>